Hello everybody, welcome to Ford Auto Studio. I am still at Stockholm Photo Fair and I'm here at Hoffman Technique, or oh, uh, the booth. And they are selling lights, they are selling monitors, and they are selling also these little sliders here. That does look a bit interesting. And I'm standing here with a seller who's, well, what's the name? Hello. Okay, so. Uh, the name. <laughs> what? Your name. Ah, Michael. <laughs> Michael. Yeah. Right. Um, Great. Uh, tell me about the, sl the slider. This looks rather interesting. Yeah, you know? it's a slider with uh, many different fi functions. Uh, besides being a straightforward slider going back and forth in a straight line, you are also able to do a, either an arch inwards or outwards. I mean, you could demonstrate speed that. And uh, this is very easy. You just loosen this knob here, adjust this one, and now I have adjusted it to an arch inwards. So if you watch the camera, it will actually hold a point uh, panning around that point. Hmm? And the same way you can do an outwards uh, arch by adjusting again this one. And now it goes in an arch like this, instead of a straight line. And as you can see, the, uh, the travel is quite extensive. It's over a meter, any which way you are working with this uh, arm. But the real interesting uh, thing comes now, because besides being a slider, you can also use it as a, a jib arm. I'm just adjusting it back to neutral. Uh, by loosening a knob over underneath here, you can tilt the whole unit 90 degrees, like this. Of course, you uh, want to turn the camera. I can do that. It's uh, quite easy. Just adjust it like this, and by unlocking it now, I can now use it as a jib arm and in the same range over a meter. Nice, and also another feature that is the fact that it's rather small, isn't it? It is uh, for the travel, normally, a slider of this uh, travel length. Uh, it's quite big and quite bulky, uh, and uh, as you can see, the size of this one is only about uh, 70 centimeters. And when you disattach the uh, counterweights, uh, you actually just have this unit as it is in this size. So it's very compact, very easy to travel with. The unit only weighs about three kilos without the, the, the counterweight. So you actually have a very lightweight uh, unit to make some very interesting movements uh, on location, whether it's vertical or horizontal. Right, and also load weight. What, can, uh, what size camera can this uh, unit take? Up to this version can take up about 6 kilos. 6 kilos? Yeah. So uh, yeah, maybe... Maybe a Sony A7 or something? FSA 7 Yeah, that would be uh, quite possible, yes. Uh, of course, it's also depending on what kind of lens and what kind of accessories you are using. Uh, but in a total weight with, with accessories and lens, it should be maximum 6 kilos. Uh, the manufacturer, uh, which is uh, 9 solution, uh, planning to come up with a, a more heavy duty one, which is uh, capable of above around double the size, about 12 kilos, but of course that will be a, a little bit or a lot stronger uh, than this one, because you need that in order to uh, resist the weight. So all in all, it's a very compact and very easy to work with uh, slider and jib. And uh, what amount of money do you have to put out for, the, for this kind of, kind of uh, thing? Uh, if we talk about Swedish corner, it's about 18,000, uh, which is about uh, 1,800 euros uh, mm. around, roughly. Give or take a few yeah. hundred. Yeah. 
Yeah. And also we found this uh, little sli slider here that d does look rather interesting. Can you tell, tell us more about it? Yeah. It's, uh, it looks like quite a small slider, which it is, because it's uh, 35 centimeters from uh, one edge to another. But the clever thing is that uh, they, it has a dual function. So not only does the, this slider work, it also has an internal slider here. So as you can see, when I start moving it, it moves two ways. So all in all, you have almost 80 centimeters from one end to another, which is quite unique for this size of uh, slider. And the carrying load for this one is uh, up to 12 kilos, actually. Up to 12 kilos? Yeah. And that, that was only six that... Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. and this is, of course, very much more compact. Uh, so obviously this one will be able to carry a much higher load. Uh, yeah. Well, okay, thank you very much. That was very informative. And if you like more to see more videos from me, click like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye.